Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. My name is Wee Sam. I'm a mechanical engineer. In this video, I want to do a little Q&A with you guys for everything engineering related. I asked you guys to leave me questions on my last What I Do in a Day video and uh, you guys came through, man. Really good questions. So I'm going to go over those as well, some other common ones that I get. But first, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Turn on the bell as well. This channel is all engineering content. We're growing like crazy and uh, I try to put out a video every week. So if you're into that stuff, Show me some support, that'd be awesome. Let's get into it. So first question on the list, probably the most common one that I get is, how do you find a job or an internship? So the tough part about this question is that there's no one way to get a job, right? There's no process or procedure that I can say, hey, if you guys do this, this, and this, then you're gonna get this, like you're gonna get your job, right? So what I can do is tell you what uh, I think the, the the best advice to you know increase your likelihood of getting a job. So. The first thing I would say, and the most important thing is to network. I read something today where it said like 70 to 80% of jobs are actually not posted. I, and I was blown away. Make these connections through your schooling. Schooling is amazing. You know, college is amazing. You're never going to have another social hub with this many potential friends, colleagues, connections, employers, uh, even make connections, like uh, make d develop relationships with your professors, right? I preach this because it's something that I never did. And I had a lot of, uh, I had difficulties finding a job out of school, okay? Any sort of extracurricular activities, go to job fairs in your school. I know it's, it's, it's COVID now, it's not the same. I get it. Think other things you can do, build a LinkedIn profile, start making connections that way. It's, it's, it, it'll make your life a lot easier. Something that's probably as equally as important is have a strong resume. Employers on average look at resumes for six seconds seconds right so they literally scan it they say um is it like is it does it look good is it professional like they, they don't even read the content as far as like what to put on there um obviously highlight your work experience if you have internships if you don't let's say you're grad okay so let's say you're a graduate right you didn't do internships you weren't involved in like uh in in some whatever groups and stuff like that highlight your school projects right you should have done probably three or four group projects Highlight those, put those on your educational, right? Don't put like what courses you took. Really kind of highlight what you did uh, collaborating with a team, right? Uh, highlight what you accomplished in those projects. Obviously, you're going to put your work experience on there too. It, it doesn't matter if it's not engineering related, but put ones where you have some sort of, uh, you can you can display some sort of tangible skill, some sort of like problem solving uh, skills. Maybe you worked as a lifeguard. Maybe you worked as a, as a manager at a store. Something something that uh, kind of is impressive to employers. Same thing goes for an internship as well. Look at look at what a strong resume looks like. I'm not an expert on resumes, guys, but watch a lot of videos on how to how to make them. If you're if you're struggling with it, just literally pay someone to do it, and then kind of tailor it as you need. So this is what mine looks like here. I obviously it's a little different. I have work experience, um, but you you see how it's kind of really nice and concise it's one page it shouldn't be more than one page especially if you're just out of school uh, there's no need for it to be more than one page but you see how it's kind of all like i paid someone to do this <laughs> because of this it, don't don't give up you got to be persistent uh, you got to be persistent you got to follow up with with your employers this last job i i, I three or four times i i, I send them emails okay got to be persistent keep following up with people things will come it's a tough situation for everyone right now, but but you know, be persistent. Question two, could you do a video on tips for interviews? All right, the interviews that I've had uh, have mostly just been conversations. It's mostly just them trying to figure out what, what your experience is and what you can provide to the company. It's none of this like, what's your biggest strength? What do you think your biggest weakness is? How would you solve this conflict? You do want to be ready to like, describe yourself you know describe your experience right tell me about yourself right so you kind of want to have you know a couple minutes there of like uh what your experience is and how it relates to your employer some of my interviews have been technical right so they'd ask technical questions about like i don't know stress calculations always make sure to do your research about the company this is kind of common sense right every employer likes to see that you've you've done some homework make sure to ask some questions at the end they're gonna ask you do you have any questions never say that you don't you always want to have one or two questions what do you expect out of me for this position uh where's what do you think this company is going to be in five years that's a really good one yeah that, that's kind of my experience in interviews like it's mostly just kind of back and forth them getting to know you your experience and you kind of uh, highlighting how you can add value to the company does gpa matter Matter. No, no, I've never once been asked about my GPA. Uh, first of all, don't put it on your resume if it's not like at least a three, maybe even like a 3.4. Don't even bother putting it on there. The unfortunate truth, and I say unfortunate because you're taught in school that you're gonna, if you get good grades, you're gonna get a good job. It's, it's completely the opposite in the real world. Employers, the first thing they look for is your work experience. 
So the reason why I'm so I'm so hell bent on getting internships is because that's what employers want to see. That's how that's what they care about. So they're going to hire the person that has uh, 2.0 and a lot of work experience over the 4.0 every day. That's just what it is. Alrighty, as a mechanical engineer, do you need to work with milling, grinding machines, etc.? Can we just do the designing analysis part only? Really good question here. You actually do need to design a lot of times with manufacturing in mind. We have had to design a lot of parts where, you know, we, we design it and be like, wait a minute, can this can this be produced? Can 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 we find a manufacturer that can actually do this? Just get to have a little bit of a, an, an idea of, of manufacturing processes like that. What was the hardest part for you in college and what do you recommend to do to prepare for college while in high school? So the first part, what was the hardest part for me in college? Probably first year. I think I think you'll I think most people will say that the the difference from high school to college is is incredible. Like it, it's a shock. You have to put in a lot more work in university than you do in high school. You have to study a lot more. Uh, classes are a lot better, a lot, a lot bigger. You don't have sort of a, a personal like relationship with your teacher. Like it's very it's just very different. So yeah, be ready to put in a lot more work. And then second thing is what to prepare for if you're in high school. Okay, so get good grades. Just really focus on 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 the sciences, on on math and calculus, and take those as well. Um, look, you're, you're going you're going to learn you're going to learn pretty much all your coursework in university. So I wouldn't worry about having to do like extra work. Uh, you don't need to do any of that. But uh, just focus on on the math and the sciences and do well in them uh, to um, you know to prepare yourself. How fast did I find a job after graduation? Uh, it took me around five months to be honest. Um, yeah, I wasn't, but again, like I said before, wasn't networking, didn't have any any previous experience. I traveled after I was done school, so, uh, and then I had surgery. So I really didn't start applying for a few months. And then after that, it took me around five months to get my job. Am I married? No. What are all the things that you wish you could have learned during your college days? Networking, straight up. I wish I made better friends. I wish I made more connections. Um, like I said, universities, it's, it's, it, it's, it's a special place, man. Like you, 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 you never going to have this many people that you can, you can potentially make, make relationships with. So yeah, that's one thing that I, that, that I regret. What if by the time you get to the job, you've already forgotten most of the stuff you learned. I've heard this one a few times. Don't worry about it guys. Okay. Your employer is not expecting you to remember everything. You shouldn't be expected to remember. I mean, yeah, I, I seven, eight years ago, I graduated, right? I don't remember probably 90% of the, the, of the, of the stuff that I learned, but you relearn it. You learn on the job. So much of the learning is on the job. I, I, I learn about theory all the time at my work. That's, that, that's kind of expected. I wouldn't worry about that. What company do I work for? Don't really want to get into that. It's not super important to be honest, uh, but it's a small startup company. We're trying to develop a hypersonic air breathing engine. Do you think Mechie is a better choice than electrical? It's not a question I can answer guys because this comes out of personal preference, right? I took Mechie because I loved the work. I knew right when I took high school physics and they started to learn about projectile motion and stuff. I was like, this is this for me, this is what I love. Now, what I will say is you should stick to one of the four main disciplines. That's uh, electrical, mechanical, civil, and software. Okay, not chemical, because what, what, what I found with chemical is that there's actually not enough jobs for the amount of graduates that, that, that they turn out. There's just there's just not enough jobs out there. Uh, yeah, take one of those four main disciplines and really just, just choose it based on what you enjoy. That's my advice. I think I'll end it there, guys. Thank you for all the questions. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. What are you doing if you're not subscribed? Come on now. Leave me any comments, any questions that I didn't get to. I'll get to them, make sure to get to them. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, we're out. See you next time.